Using columns in Typo3 is a great way to provide even more flexibility to the way that you can organize and lay out content on the pages of your website. And they're really easy to use. Here's a page which I've just created. And the only thing that's on this page is a basic text element. If we look at the back end of this page, you can see this one text element and that's all there is there. If we wanted to add some columns to this page, we simply decide where we want to put the columns. In this case, I'm going to put them above my text element. So I'm going to click this add new element icon. It's going to open up my content elements page and under flexible content, you can see I've got a choice here of choosing two, three, four, or even five columns. For this example, I'm going to choose three columns. And this will now open up the new column element that I've created. And you can see I can add headings to the columns if I wish to. But I'm not going to in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, save and close that element. Now, when we go back to the page here, you can see that above my text element, we've now got the new column element. And within this element, you can see these three defined areas for columns. Now, for ease of showing you the effect of the columns, I'm going to drag my basic text element into column one. And then I'm going to copy this element by clicking the clipboard here. And now I've copied that, you can see this paste icon has appeared anywhere where I can paste this element. So I'm gonna paste it into column two, and I'm also gonna paste it again into column three. So now that original paragraph that appeared on the page here, I've copied it and put it into three columns. So if I now refresh this page, you can see I've now got three columns of content. Now, perhaps I then decide, actually, I wanted four columns. If we go back to the back end, I can achieve this easily by editing the column element by clicking the edit icon. And in the template object box here, I can simply select four columns. And if I save that and now refresh the front end page again, I've now got four columns, although there's only something in three of them. If I save and close this element now, you'll see we've got the four element, the four columns, and we've got stuff in three of them. This works the other way as well. So if I wanted to reduce the amount of columns, I can edit the element again, and I could select two columns. Now bear in mind that if you do this, it will hide anything in the furthest most columns. So in this instance, it is going to hide that third column content. Now it still exists in the database, but for all intensive purposes, if you do want to keep it, then I would suggest that you move it before making the column change. So if I now refresh the page again, you'll see that I've got my two columns. Now with the two column element, things get even more interesting because you can actually decide how big the columns are. So this particular example here, this is set to a 50-50 ratio. Each column takes up half of the available space. If I go back into the column element, at the bottom here, we've got layout proportion and I can set that to 30-70 or 70-30. If I save and close this, and now refresh the page, you'll see that now my first column is taking up 70% of the available space, and my second column, the remaining 30. So that's a quick introduction to using columns. I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.